For most TV antennas, using a matching transformer will allow you to receive the most channels that you can. However, not all matching transformers are made the same. There are less expensive ones and there are more expensive ones. Do they perform differently? Is it better to pay more to get a better transformer? I'm about to find out, so let's hop to it. I keep a few matching transformers in my parts box. For most of my antenna builds, I just throw on one of these less expensive generic ones to test it out. But are these generic transformers allowing the TV to get the optimum channels that they could be displaying? Do they put out the strongest signals possible? I've never actually tested them, so I figured all of us would like to know. I started buying these cheap transformers just for that reason. They are cheap. I build a lot of antennas, some of which get featured on my channel. I enjoy making TV antennas and sharing how to build them with you, my YouTube viewers. You seem to like them too, as they are by far my most popular episodes, and I'm always getting requests to build newer or modified antenna designs. Because I build so many antennas, I also have a habit of going through a lot of matching transformers. Either I break them or I lose them somewhere. Buying the cheap ones keeps me from going broke. Well, more or less. As far as testing my antennas, I usually just slap a generic one on and run the channel scan. But if I'm doing that, am I actually doing a complete test? Maybe a better matching transformer would do a better job and get more channels. The only way for me to find out is to test both types on one of my antennas. For my more technical viewers, this is just going to be a simple test to see what, if any, performance difference there will be. I need to buy a better matching transformer, so I'll take a look on Amazon. Here are the less expensive matching transformers I use. Buying them five at a time is very cost effective. The last time I bought them I paid $5.97 for the five pack, but now they are currently even cheaper. For the more expensive one, this Weingard has a 4 and one half star rating. It looks durable and I think it will be perfect for the testing. The price sure is a lot more. The Weingard Transformer arrived and there is a distinct difference in quality and build. The generic Transformer is much smaller and lighter. When I put it on the scale, it weighs 0.175 ounces. The wine guard is much larger with a heavier water resistant case. It also has a water resistant cable shroud, so this obviously was designed for outside use. On the scale, it's also much heavier, weighing in at 0.36 ounces. That's 0.185 ounces heavier than the generic one, or over twice the generic transformer's weight. The generic transformer's leads have spade ends, and the metal is very light gauge and easily bent. The wine guard has hoop ends, also made of light gauge metal, with shrink tubes applied to secure them. Neither brand has gold plated ends. The twin leads on the wine guard are noticeably heavier and wider. Now that I've compared them, it's time to see how they perform. I will be using my multi directional hoop antenna and feed the signal input through a 6 foot length of RG6 coax to an Amatic TV tuner. The tuner output will be through an HDMI cable to this on 32 inch LCD TV. First up, I'll test the generic transformer. I screw it into the antenna's terminals, hook it up to the coax, and run a channel scan. The TV is showing 32 channels. Now it will pick a few of the more fringe stations and see how the signal strength is. Channel 62 is averaging 42% on the Ematic signal meter. Channel 47 is at 45%. The local ABC affiliate, Channel 17, is at 69%. Now it's time to test the wine guard. I do not alter the antenna setup at all, just swap out the matching transformers. I run another channel scan. With the wine guard, the TV now has 38 channels, or 6 channels more than the generic transformer. Checking the signal strength, the wine guard is slightly better on the signal meter. Channel 62 is up from 42 to 46 percent, channel 47 is up from 45 to 48 percent, 
and channel 17 is now at 70% versus the 69% with the generic transformer. The biggest difference is the six channels that are now being received that didn't show up at all with the generic transformer. They are six stations broadcasting on channel 40 and its substations. It's another distance station. All of the signals for them are stable, but only at 46%. Just to be sure of these results, I ran this experiment two more times with basically the same outcome each time. For those of you viewers that are curious, I also hooked up a six foot length of RG6 directly to the antenna without a matching transformer and ran another scan. The bare leads got 19 channels, but at least four of them would pixelate severely. So it's basically less than half of what the generic matching transformer was able to show. So what can I conclude from this simple test? The generic matching transformer does work, but there is an obvious performance difference compared to the WineGuard. As far as watchable TV stations, the generic transformer was only 82% as efficient as the WineGuard, which is a sizable difference. Signal-wise, on the stations that both transformers were able to display, it was closer, with the generic 95% as efficient as the WineGuard. So which matching transformer should you use? In most cases, the WineGuard is a clear choice. It's more robust and outperforms the generic transformer in every way. If you are planning on mounting your antenna outdoors, only consider the WineGuard or equivalent, as it has weather protection while the generic has none. So does buying a generic matching transformer ever make sense? Well, if you live in an area with strong TV reception and you aren't concerned with pulling in weaker or more distant signals, it may be okay for you. After all, currently the generic transformers are only 80 cents a piece versus $11.58 for the WineGuard. That's almost 15 times more expensive. Don't forget, I've shown that almost any matching transformer, if it's required on your TV antenna, will work better than not using a transformer at all. A cheap one is better than not having one. After running this test, I have decided that I will only use the better matching transformers from now on. I have two of the wine guards, and I'll use them for all of my future antenna tests. Well, at least until I lose them or break them. If you found this episode helpful, drop me a message. Also, please high five the like icon, jingle the bell, and subscribe. A big thanks again to all of my subscribers. My channel is slowly growing and I'm having fun sharing my stuff with all of you. Until next time, keep watching TV. Say goodnight, Sophie.